Okay, good morning, Year 11. Going to make a start. It's Mr. Breen speaking. It is Friday, the 22nd of January. I hope you are all well. Uh, the theme of this morning's assembly is about recognising uh, what might be causing us anxiety or fear and, and how we face up to it. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that uh, briefly, and then I've got a few updates to share with you towards the end of the assembly. So as the phrase goes, feel the fear and do it anyway. So many of you, uh, I'm sure, have, have walked a mountain, have climbed a mountain, whether it be you know, just going out for a walk with your family or your friends or when you're on holiday or, or maybe even as part of a, a group that you're in, maybe the Duke of Edinburgh programme or something like that. I'm sure some of you have climbed a mountain and it can be quite a painful experience depending on, on the size of the mountain. It can be quite exhausting. It can be quite unpleasant until you get to the top. Uh, and as that Chinese proverb there that you see suggests, it is worth the effort. And it's only through these challenges that you can learn to appreciate the value of what's around you and that wonderful view. So th there's a few different phrases that involve mountains that you may have heard of. Don't make a mountain out of a molehill. I'm sure you've heard people saying that. Have faith and you can move mountains. So a mountain really is, is just something that represents a challenge. It doesn't always have to be a physical challenge. And we've all got our own mountains in life that we're facing. Uh, yours, you know, it could be uh, exams, it could be peer pressure, it could be stress. You know, no matter what age you are in your life, you're always going to have these mountains. Now, I expect for you at the moment, year 11, your mountain is how to keep going through year 11, especially when there's so much uncertainty around about what's going to happen, what's going to happen in the next few months and what they'll hold for us. Now, you can view these challenges as a mountain so big that you don't know what to do, it seems impossible to, to overcome. Some people take the ostrich approach, and so what they do is they bury their head in the sand, they pretend that it doesn't exist and they don't face up to it. Some people give up because they just doubt themselves, they doubt their own ability, and, and they end up saying things like, well, I don't want to do it anyway, I don't want to climb the mountain anyway. Some other people panic and they get themselves so worked up about it that they're absolutely exhausted before they even started to climb the mountain. So there's various different approaches that people take to climbing whatever their mountain is. Everyone's got a different mountain to face. And, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about this gentleman, Nick Vujicic. He's, he's an Australian man. Uh, he's a motivational speaker. He's really talented. Uh, he's really funny. Um, he's a man of faith and he's, he's brilliant. But there's something else that you need to know about Nick. He was born with a rare condition, which means that he doesn't have any arms or legs. Obviously, quite a big mountain to climb. When he decided that he wanted to become a motivational speaker and to share his story with other people, he had to cope with lot, a lot of rejections. He had 52 rejections from different schools just before one agreed that they'd let him into the building to speak. And the school that invited him in was over 100 kilometres away. So... He had to pay for someone to drive in there. He had to pay for a hotel to stop over. And when he got there, he was prepared to do this big speech. And there was five students there and he only had five minutes to talk to them. He was really, really nervous and, and he accepts himself that it didn't go very well. But crucially, he didn't give up. He said, if I fail, I try again and again and again. And eventually he got better. He got a little bit better, then a bit more, be a bit better, etc. And he carried on getting better until he became this brilliant motivational speaker. He now has thousands of requests to speak and he's a really popular uh, speaker. He's now married, he's got a child and he's living a really successful and happy life. And there's lots of clips on YouTube about him. Uh, I'm going to share one with you in the Satchel One area for year 11. It is well worth a watch. It's only a couple of minutes, but I'd encourage you to watch it. It's a great story. So how do you view your mountains? Do you stay at the bottom in case you fail? Do you give up if you think it's too hard or I can't do that, it's too hard, I'm not going to bother? Do you blame other people if it's not going well? That's a common thing that people do. It's not my fault, nothing to do with me. Or do you doubt your own ability and you think, oh, I've really not got the ability to do that? I think a lot of us do that and sometimes we don't even admit it ourselves. Now, Nick says that Fear is the biggest disability of all. He says it's an even, it's something that will paralyze you even more than being in a wheelchair. It stops you from trying something new because you don't want to fail. 
There were lots and lots of times in Nick's career when he wanted to give up, but he didn't. Instead of focusing on what he doesn't have, he focused on what he did have. He chooses to feel the fear and do it anyway. And it's really, really good advice. And I want you to take that away with you today, year 11. When it looks too hard, do it anyway. When you feel like giving up, do it anyway. When you doubt yourself, do it anyway. None of us would attempt, no one ever attempts to climb a mountain without proper planning, without being prepared. So we need to prepare ourselves for whatever our mountain is, whatever our challenge is. Now that might mean preparing a revision timetable. It might mean acknowledging that you need to ask someone for help with your work, with your revision. But as all mountain climbers will tell you, it is worth it because you get to the top and like the picture shows there, you get this great view and this great sense of accomplishment. Mountains are not easy things, but a life without mountains is no life at all. So I'm just going to say a short prayer now before I move on to the updates. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, we give thanks for our many blessings as we pray for those in need. We give thanks for our family and friends as we pray for those who are lonely. We give thanks for our freedoms as we pray for those who are oppressed. We give thanks for our good health as we pray for those who are ill. May the love of God enfold us. May the peace of God be with us. May the joy of God uplift us. Amen. Saint Monica, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, so that's the key message from my assembly. Feel the fear and do it anyway. And I'm just going to give you now some updates on what's going on. We, we know that we're continuing with live lessons. You've got three more today. Uh, hopefully, you've, we've received lots and lots of feedback from the staff about how well you are applying yourself to the live lesson. So really well done for that. You're doing brilliantly. Got to keep going. Some of you have been invited to tutoring sessions and they started yesterday. Again, a lot of positive feedback. So well done to those pupils for getting involved in those. If you had tutoring sessions on a Friday, please make sure you check in your email. You will have been invited to one today. Rewards are continuing. Mrs. Harlan was out delivering some uh, tasty treats for people the other day. Lots and lots of nominations and she did the draw in the assembly on Tuesday. They're going to keep going, so make sure you're getting yourself in the draw for a chance to win something. Keep engaging in your learning. That's all we can do at the moment. The teachers are putting a lot of effort into the live lessons to keep, to keep you on the right path. It's really important that you keep going. We do lose a little bit of control because we can't see you and we, we can't wait for the day we can see you. But we've got to, there's a bit of emphasis on you to apply yourself and make sure you're engaging in your learning. And do remember, we are here for you. OK, we, all the staff are willing to support you. Uh, Mr Noon has actually sent you all an email because he's asking for a little bit of feedback. So do have a, do check your email, but just be aware that all the staff, you can speak to all the staff, we're here for you to support you. Mr Noon needs your pastoral contact, so do check, uh, check your emails because he sent you a message today. But keep on, keep focusing. That's all we can do at the moment. Next week, we're going to ask your teachers to report on your attitude to learning. Obviously, that's going to focus on your attitude in in the live lessons, because that's all we've got to go off at the moment. So make sure your teachers are going to give you a positive grade for that. We're also we're going to be sending home a pack of exam papers for you for you to have a go at during that last the last week of this half term. OK, these are not things that we're going to take in and mark. Your teachers are going to go through them with you in the final week of our term. It's what we would call a walking, talking mock. You'd have done them when you were in school. Uh, so we're going to have a go at those just to give you that focus on exam practice. And because it's so important at the moment that we keep going, that is all we can do at the moment is keep going. Also, just a reminder, I went through this with you a couple of weeks ago. It is really important you are looking after yourself. OK, so make sure that you are exercising regularly. Be conscious of what you're eating. Make sure you're eating well. Make sure you're sleeping well and you're getting you know, the right amount of sleep. And as I said last time I spoke to you about this, we can't do anything about the fact that your education at the moment is, is online. That's the situation we're in. But you can avoid unnecessary screen time because you've got to be conscious that too much screen time is not good for you. OK, so finally, just a reminder, we are super proud of you. We, all the feedback is positive. We're just really impressed with the way you're applying yourself. I said to you at the start of year 11, you had a really tough gig this year because you'd missed part of year 10 and we're now missing part of year 11. We are really, really proud of you. We've just got to keep going and keep applying ourselves to everything that we're doing. 
And remember, if something you, if you're finding something difficult, feel the fear and do it anyway. Thank you, Year 11. Have a great day. Make sure you get some rest this weekend and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.